Canucks hosting the Sharks, and the Sharks are plus 143 on the money line. The Canucks are minus 170. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Sharks getting a goal and a half are minus 170 on the puck line, while the Sharks, forgive me, the Canucks laying a goal and a half are plus 143. The Sharks have lost their last seven. The Canucks lost the last game that they played. Before you bet on this game, go to a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place, whether you bet online or in person, and then use a site like Covers.com. It'll allow you to compare pretty much every gambling stat imaginable in one place. It's totally free, and it'll also show you who's playing and who is not in this game. Now, head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The Canucks are on an eight-game winning streak against the Sharks. The Canucks are 9-1 and one against the Sharks in their last 10. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10, including two out of the last three and four out of the la- uh, three out of the last five that they played against each other. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 6-3-1, and one, and the over 6.5 goals is 7-3. and three. The last game that they played, the Canucks beat the Sharks 6-2. The game before that, they beat them 6-5 in overtime. The game before that, they beat them 4-3 in overtime. Both of those games were in San Jose. And the game before that, they beat them 4-2 in Vancouver. So seemingly, the one-goal games happen in San Jose. Now, in their last handful of games, the Sharks are 1-9 in their last 10. The over is 5-4-1 in the last 10. We've had 9 goals, 5 goals, 3 goals, and 11 goals. The Sharks have scored 4, 1, 1, and 5 in their last 4 games. Now for the Canucks, they are 7-3 and three in their last 10. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. We've had 7, 3, 5, and 5 in their last 4 games. They've scored 3, 2, 3, and 2. Just seemingly when these teams play each other, there's no defense. I'm going to take the Canucks with the money line. I'm going to take the Canucks laying the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.